morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again Marvin and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin and this time we're going to be talking about Bejewel, right? Yeah, the current HHH in most of the servers, so just in case this is your current HHH, this video is for you and you know, if it's not currently your HHH, maybe you could watch this in preparation for the future because I have seen and I've heard a lot of, you know, a lot of things from different players that they are having difficulties in this dungeon so hopefully this guide might help you okay so we have uh three stages here in this dungeon the first one is when you repel all of the attackers in frontera the second one is on the dungeon itself and the third one is with biju okay so so for the uh for the first part okay so the, the thing here is that you just have to attack this, you have to uh, kill it, then after that, kill this priest, and then there will be another one here after that. I, I'm, I'm uh, you know, fast forwarding this so that we could, you know, just just uh, go and focus on V2, okay? So, as you can see here, there will be a casted spell from Biju that would be looking like this. Every time you, you go near it, you get damage continuously. So, take note of that. Okay, so you have to talk with the person here. And there will be a an orange circle here. All of the party members have to be inside it in order for it to move. Otherwise, it won't move and you, you won't go anywhere. So while it's moving, a lot of monsters will be uh, spawning and will be attacking your circle. But uh, in order for you to make the circle move again, you everyone must be inside it. Okay? So it's that easy. Next. Okay. So this is the last wave of monsters. After that, you have to talk to either Redel. Riedel <laughs> or Shubik. Anyway, so yeah, then will be there will be a portal to the dungeon itself, and then this would be uh, something that would make the run longer for someone or for some parties because everyone wants to switch the light. Okay, so you must have so, so, only one must be switching the light so that it wouldn't you know it wouldn't go beyond the the target light okay the target uh second tower there okay this one is just one switch okay just leave it be and then you will be battling an abysmal knight okay so after you kill an abysmal knight there will be three light towers again those will be uh those will be needing a switch or two in order for you to you know open the door to be due okay so next, the reason why I am, you know, although I, I can now withstand that attack, some people on the lower stages or lower level people may not, you know, um, withstand that attack. So that's why I'm going to that part where in uh, you, can, you can, you know, you can dodge the attack. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we are waiting for one person to, uh, to switch there, okay, and then, oh goodness and then he switched again this is what i'm talking about guys you know you must only allow one person to switch it so that it could you know connect to the other lights okay so this one i just allowed him to get the last switch and then the last one would be there okay so that the the door will be opened and you will now be battling be joe so every time that this one is uh, coming up, it will be raising a shield and you must not be in front of that shield. You must always uh, turn around and always face Biju or, and not face the shield that she is, uh, you know, blocking. So this is what I am talking about, guys. These are the, the icicles that she summons. And it deals continuous damage if you are quite near to it. So be sure that you won't get near that those uh, types, uh, those eyes. Okay. Then after that, there will be uh, two more attacks of Biju. Biju is preparing to charge at a random target. 
So everyone take over. When when this uh when this sign is coming up, then each and everyone in the party should be uh going behind the pillars. So this one, this one, or that one. So sometimes it's not a pillar, it's a broken chandelier or it's a broken furniture. It's okay. And every time that uh, you dodge that attack and the Biju attacks that thing instead or charges that thing instead, it gets damaged or it gets broken. So in the long run, every time that she she attacks or she charges on someone and uh, you get less and less places to go behind and to you know take cover from. So that's why it's also important for you to kill uh, Biju faster, okay? So this is the first attack. So as you can see, I'm going be behind. So he attacked that person, and since everyone is already there at the at the behind of this pillar, then nobody got thrown away from that place. Because every time that you uh, get charged, you will be thrown away from this circle, and you'll be on the ice part. So. Uh, the ice parts are the corners of this room or the uh, further furthest part of this room. So whenever you, whenever someone or a player gets thrown there, they will immediately die. So it's very important for the full support priests or the priests to not get thrown there because it's kind of impossible for you to get resurrected using Yggdrasil Leaf because uh, once you have been thrown very far from the battle, it's gonna get harder for you to come back, okay? So, so the next one is this. You successfully aroused my desire to fight, okay? so. Biju will be going in the middle, so you should also, okay? So, there will be a circle here, okay? There will be a circle here, a charging circle here. Everyone must be there because when she releases this attack, uh, everyone gets thrown away. And when you are inside that circle, you will just get thrown away exactly before the ice parts. What am I, what am I talking about here? Okay, just throwing everyone. There you go. So this is the ice part. So as you can see, one member was not able to go in the in the middle. So where where was he? Okay, so he was uh, actually expecting another charge, but it was not that charge message. It was a, a desire to fight message. So instead of, you know, hiding behind the pillars, everyone should be in the middle. There you go. So after the jump, okay, there you go. So he hid behind the pillar, that's why he was thrown further away. And then he is gonna die. Okay? So the next attack, okay, the next attack will be a wind, okay, wind blowing. So. Uh, this is quite easy because there will be markings on the floor where to go or where to push forward. So if the markings is going to the left, then you should be heading to the left because the wind would be blowing from the left to right, okay? What am I talking about? This is what I'm talking about. There you go. There is the wind here. Okay, go go there so that you won't uh, get thrown to the ice again. I think somebody got thrown to the ice again. Okay, there's one, another one. Okay. So the next one would be series of AOE. So you must stay away from those series of AOE. Okay. So another charge. So always, always uh, look at what the markings on the screen are. This is what I am talking about. Each of this uh, AOE will certainly throw you to the ice area, to the ice area. So you must uh, go to a place wherein there's no AOE. That's, it's that simple, like this. Okay, so as you can see, everyone that is inside those area would be uh, thrown to the ice area. There you go. 
So another another ice that is uh, continuously damaging you. Okay. But for the full supports and for the priest, be careful. Sometimes the uh, the party member is thrown so far that you will you you yourself will get inside the ice part. So. Uh, take note of that. So as you can see, this one, this pillar is activated a while ago and it has been receiving a lot of charges. That's why it got broken. So if you don't kill the boss fast enough, you won't have any place to hide behind, uh, to hide behind and uh, so you'll, you'll certainly die. That was quite close. Okay, another crystal. There you go. So I do hope that this guide has helped you just in case this is your first time that you'll be entering this Helheim dungeon. All right, so that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like. Share this to your friends and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream or a new content. That's it. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.